Well, to get started, we need to kind of think about a different way to conceptualize how we've got all this information put together here. We can remember when we were working with instances the other day that we had a multi-sample chop. So we used a noise chop, chop, you might remember, and we had something that looked like this, T, X, Y, Z. So we had three channels, and each one of these channels had multiple samples in it, right? We can kind of uh, turn this into a dat if we want to kind of remember what that looked like as a table. That was one of the ways we kind of talked about how this uh, information might be formatted. And we could include the names here so it makes more sense. And here we can see that each column is, uh, we can kind of think of as a channel, and each row we can think of as a sample. Now, if you don't want to look at your data this way, you could also swap it around. So it was a row per channel, right? T, X, Y, Z. And this is a different way to look at the same information, um, right? I happen to think this kind of column per channel is more useful, but, you know, to each their own. Depends on how you want to organize the information. So what we're after is we want to think about how we can get this set of data to look something more like this. That's kind of our goal here. Uh, and we need to think about ways that we might do that just a little bit. The first thing that we'll notice if we take a close look here, right, is that we've got these X, Y, Z um, channels that kind of roll all the way through here. And they happen in this repeating pattern, T, X, Y, Z, T, X, Y, Z, T, X, Y, Z, and on and on and on and on. So, you know, one of the things that we might do is think about how we could get rid of any information that wasn't, you know, this like uh, XYZ pattern. So I don't want this player ID business in there. How could I grab just that information uh, and turn that into something that I actually want to have a hold of? So let's start with a select chop. And we can start by using a select chop. And what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and indicate that we want to kind of um, pull out a little bit of information here, right? So the channel names I want are going to look like star uh, brackets x, y, z star. And what this means is that I've got this kind of wild card in front and in back, and so it could be anything in front and anything in the back as long as it matches x, y, or z in between. So that means that I'll get only things that have X, Y, or Z here. Now, you know, I could probably get away without having this star here in the back. And that'll work just as well. Okay, so that's what I'm after here. That's kind of what I want to get. Uh, and that's a lovely place to start. And the next thing I want to do is I want to insert an operator here. And I want to shuffle this data. Uh, and the way that I want to shuffle this... Uh, in our, you know, in this particular case, is I want to think about how I can sequence these channels. So I could come down here and I could sequence n, or excuse me, sequence every nth channel, where n, right, n here represents how many kind of trips through we go, we go through. So every one, two, three, I'm going to just turn into a new stack. So we can kind of think of x is going to go into x, is going to go into x, is going to go into x y, 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 and so on. And here we can see that we've got this kind of lovely x, y, z situation happening. And that is pretty close to what we want to get started here. Now, there is a kind of silly thing happening. We've got this kind of like situation where we're flying down the, uh, kind of down the x axis here, which looks like a little bit bananas, right? And that's okay. We can, you know, we can deal with that. That's not going to make us too crazy. Uh, and we have a way that we, you know, might think about that. In this case, you know, we don't particularly have to worry about this too much. Uh, the way that this kind of chop is situated at the moment. Um, we can kind of just like let this ride for a little bit. If we wanted to get rid of this strange animation, we could get rid of it. If it makes you feel uncomfortable, you can just kind of turn off uh, your displays here. Um, or if it's making you really crazy and you would prefer to get rid of this, and there are some circumstances where you might want to get rid of that particular kind of animation or that particular kind of movement, 
in your channel is we can go ahead and grab our connect and our select we can scoot those down just a little bit we can insert a stretch chop and we're going to use our stretch chop to just go ahead and set an apple absolute uh, set of unit values we're going to do just samples and we want to start at zero and end at zero and this kind of clips out any additional kind of movement that we might see happening in our chop channels.